It's a nice day here in Blackpool. Need to find a bin for that bag of rubbish. And now we're going to see Birdman. Where even is Birdman? It's a 20 minute walk. So that's your, that's your PE for today then. Your PE lesson. Come here a minute, you've got some fluff on your ear. Come here, stay here a minute. It is not coming off. Ah, there we go, got it. Oh, it's gorgeous. This is the perfect weather, this. You all right with that, Mark? Mark, you okay with that? I can't hear you. Right, so we're just here on Dixon Road. I was about to say Disco Road. <laughs> Dixon Road. We've just been and had a Greg's at the uh, new tram station. That was a bright idea of Greg's that all the people going to get the trains. Oh, look at that. Sticker, imagine putting a sticker on there. But yeah, all the people going to get trains are gonna stop and get a pasty and a brew because you'll pay a lot less getting a brew in there than you will getting a brew on the actual train. They're quite expensive. Look at this little happy hour, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Pints 2.20, 9 a.m. 5 o'clock somewhere. 9 a.m. is a bad. Who has a pint at 9 a.m.? Eight, no judgment, no judgment, but 9 a.m., wow. <laughs> I think it'd, it'd put me to sleep. If I had one at that time. Actually, I think I'll do the exact opposite. I think a pint will wake me up. Cuban bar just here. Beers, wines, cocktails and food. All spirits doubled up. A pound. Two premium cocktails. Twelve pounds. Got bit by what? I don't know. I just felt something like... Jaguar skin tattoos they should really be on the road Newbury Haywood Hotel you've got lots and lots of hotels up here on Dixon Road the Trentham this is one that I've wanted to film for years Every time I go past this hotel, I'm like, I really want to go inside and film it. Doesn't it look nice? There's something about it. I just like the exterior. Bed and breakfast open seven days a week. Free Wi-Fi, licensed bar, late key, room service daily, single, double, twin, triple and family rooms, standard or en suite. All rooms have tea, coffee, free view colour TV. Breakfast served 9 to 10 a.m. Check out by 10.30. Contractors welcome, small groups welcome. And it's the trenthamhotel.co.uk. They also have weekly offers. It's cheaper to book direct with them. Stay both Friday and Saturday night, plus stay Sunday night for just £20 per person. Book via Facebook. Oh, this one looks nice. I've not noticed this one before. The Molly House, it might be new, yeah. That is pretty. There's no information about that one, but it does look nice. Um, so yeah, Kaylee's just pulled a piece of sausage roll off my lid. <laughs> oh, wet paint, yep, yeah, don't want to fall into that. Stunning building is that, isn't it? We're just coming up to Vicky's Afro-Caribbean Superstore. She does hair extensions, braiding, weaving, twisting, dreadlocks, washing and blow dry, calling for a free consultation, I think it says. I want to get my hair done again at Stacey's. Do you remember when I had the coloured braids? I loved that. But I think I'd get it shorter this time, not as long because it's quite heavy when you're first getting used to it. 
So you can get all your hot sauce and everything in there. Plantain. Noodles. Oh, they've got a laundrette here. Blackpool's finest dry cleaners and ironing service available. Hey. Go on, little man. You're right there. Has Mark given you that no, bag? Poor little Dan, it probably weighs more than he does. We used to come here to a community group, do you remember? Yeah. We had a Christmas party there. It was run by that lad and lass, and I can't remember the names, but they did a fantastic job. Guys, look in front of you, please. When you can see people coming up the street, then you need to move over to one side, OK? Honestly, does any other parent feel like a parrot? I should just record all the famous sayings and then just play it, rather than saying it. <laughs> it's constant. Look in front of you, not behind you. Make sure you move to the side when you see someone coming. Don't look at me with that face. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say it too much. You've got a news agent over the road. You've got two, look. You've got shop locally and best one. Your mic's just attached, yeah? yeah. That's all right, just so you know. Two news agents there, boys. Which one would you choose? Best one or shop locally? Be best one. Is it the best one? Apple. 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 Did you just say apple? You're absolutely not right in the edge, you kid. Right, we're looking for a co-op anyway, so let me know when you spot a co-op, boys. We have moved to Mowbray Drive. Hey, I know a guy called Peter Mowbray. He owns um, Live in Blackpool. Fantastic Facebook page. Lulu's Cabaret Lounge over there. Rooms are £40 per weekend per couple. That's incredibly cheap. You right there, Mark? Eh? Yeah. Hope you're not going to keep growing. No, I probably will. <laughs> you're going to need new clothes again soon. I can't get over how fast you've grown. You're going to be six foot odd, you, definitely. You're going to be... I'm going to be like that, looking up, going, Mark, why have you not yeah. done your own work? My, my legs are growing a lot. They're going to keep growing. Do you get growing pains in your legs? Yeah. Legs, legs are Do you know what's really unfair? I suffered horrendous with growing pains as a child. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the long legs? Make sure you get the mic, mate, when you're talking. Otherwise, no one's going to hear you. Kay's got the mic. Just keep passing it between yourselves. I need another mic, don't I? Yeah, get five of them for everyone. Yeah, get one each. But they're 90 pounds each. That's a bit sad, actually. Ah. Belvedere, adults only. Hey, I'm coming for a night. Get away from the kids. <laughs> kids. I'm going! I'm going! <laughs> uh. He's off, he is. He beat me. Uh, excuse me. Why do you sound like a herd of elephants when you're running? And yet there's nothing to you. It's like a twig. But look, you sound like the local zoo's escape. I think he makes it a little bit more dramatic. Oh, he's very dramatic, is our Daniel. Beauty and tanning studio just behind us. I could do with a tan. I'm as white as Dare Lee. Oh, look at that in front of us. Strawberries, cream, desserts, juices and shakes. Mum? Yes. It's not me. It's Why have you not got a mic, Mr Myers? kelly has got it. You just need to pass it between so, you. It's not me who's um who's making the herd of elephants noise. It's the Jumanji game. The Jumanji. Are we Jumanji. in a Jumanji game? Do, 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 yeah. Oh dear. Do, do, do. <laughs> I'd hate that in real life, wouldn't you? How terrifying! 
Shall we have a pool tournament when we get home? Yes, I will win. I think we could pick up a prize on the way. And the winner can get a prize. What prize should we get? 50, 50, 50 quid? Yeah, I know, I know. Excuse me? No, I'm going to win, so I need to pick my prize. This one here thinks I'm the bank of TSB. No. <laughs> right, so we're up this end now. We're near the co-op. You've got Dave's home and DIY bargains. Planning a party. Snooker company. Hey. I like a bit of snooker. Not right now. Block shop. And then just next door, you've got New Treasure City. Takeaway, Chinese restaurant. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I was thinking of literal treasure. Lots of bits and bats, you know. But it's a takeaway. Let's have a look at the menu a second. A special two course banquet, £13.50 per head. Sunday to Friday. Mm, salt and tofu. Oh, I love tofu. Salt and chilli pepper chips, £3.50. Fried soft noodles, £4. Curried sliced chicken, £9. I wonder if they deliver. I can't see anything about Just Eat or anything. They're closed on a Thursday and they're open 5.30 to 11, Monday to Wednesday, but 11.30, Friday and Saturday, 11 on the Sunday. Oh, here you go. Here's the phone numbers, guys. So you can jot this number down. 01253 752 203. But the takeaway is 620 and they've got a website there newtreasurecity.co.uk No dogs allowed. Woof. Have you got the mic, Daniel? Mum? Yes? They cut keys over there. They cut keys? Yes, over there. Cool. Right, butty-licious. Full Scottish breakfast served here. This is a nice little... Um, outdoor area isn't it we sell traditional scottish breakfast steak slice from scotland egg bacon black pudding tatty scone beans or tomatoes they do outside catering as well it's nice isn't it yeah freshly ground coffee served here oh move round camera move round there we go What's this one? MBP. Oh, that looks like it's closed down, doesn't it? Is it? Martinbrownpaints.com. There is. You've got the co-op over the road there, look. Mystery Inc. Let me just check I've got my phone. Oh, yeah, it's there. Right, oh, I just need to look for directions now. One minute. Right, come on boys, third turn into the right. We are going to see the Birdman Parrot Rescue. I can't wait, I absolutely love parrots. I follow a few pages on Facebook that have parrots and one of them yesterday said to the owner, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, they're just adorable. <coughs> Sorry for that, coughing into the mic. So, Tops Hair Fashions, special offer, perm £20. I used to love getting perms when I was younger. Right, we're looking for Litchfield Road, but we've got a feeling that we need to go this way. So that means we'd have to be over the road, though. You know what, can you just run into the co-op, please, and ask someone which, which street is Litchfield Road, please? Thank you. That's Warley Road. Right, so we need to go to the end of here until you get to a dog grooming place. And then, and then left, right. Fantastic. You've had some good steps today, kids, haven't you? Yeah. We need a step counter on our phone. Have you got one? I haven't got my watch with me. Oh, don't you have it on your mobile phone? No, but it still would, well, yeah, I kind of do, but it still wouldn't work because it's in my backpack. No, it should still work for that. 
Right, we foundly, foundly, we foundly found it. Foundly? <laughs> foundly. Yeah, Birdman Parrot Rescue is over here. That was hard to find. Why does it say Birdman? I can see a yellow sign oh, that says yeah. it. Let's go and see all these parrots. You know what, straight away, the fact that he does rescue them, I love that. Anyone who gives the time to helping others is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Birdman Parrot Rescue. I wonder if a lot of people do get parrots and then I've heard that you can end up with scars all over your hands when they're young because of their biting and their beak is incredibly sharp. So I wonder if a lot of them do get dumped. So here's the phone number. 077519-52367-380-768. Guys, wait up. Parrots are my favourite bird. Let's hope no big dog comes running out. Ah, let's go in here first. Right, so look at these, look, warning, these birds may bite. Look at this absolutely gorgeous, this one's called Magic. Oh, I want to take them all home. Charlie the showbird. Hello, Charlie. <laughs> That's what he thinks of me. Oh, you can actually handle some of the birds. Wow. Swashbuckle. He was on CBeebies, this one. He was the star of Swashbuckle. He used to love that, remember? He was called Squawk on Swashbuckle. Right, so what's this one called? Called Charlie. He's a blue and gold macaw. Hold the mic up. Yeah. He's called Charlie. He's a blue and gold macaw. You're going to hold him, Dan? Okay. Step oh, wow. up, Charlie. Oh, God, they're just... They're absolutely stunning, aren't they? Yeah. So, you do um, adoption, foster homes Yes, here. we do, yeah. Can you tell me about that? Right. We like people to come and visit as many times as we possibly can. We say ten visits over a length of wheat so the bird bonds with them and they bond with the bird yeah it helps the bird settle when it's moved to its new home um so we work a bit differently than the other rescues that's good that though to get them comfortable yeah yeah it is um is there a cost involved in yeah. adoption uh dearest one had said 550 pounds but if you went to buy one of these it'd be nearly three thousand pound wow um, right, so what does it cost a week to keep one of You're these about birds? Five to ten pound in seed and then your fruit and vegetables. All oh, right, so I thought it'd be a lot more than that. No, so you'd be having a five or a ten in fruit and veg every week. Wow, okay, that's awesome, is that? So, yeah, but people come down here and get yourself a parrot. Does it take much to train them? Yeah, it takes a lot of dedication and work. Because I noticed you've got one behind us here and. He's, he's not yeah. attached to anything, he's just no, sat there. No, so. Won't come off, so. That's fantastic. He's all right, not all right, yeah. He's just sitting <laughs> on your shoulder. I think he's going to go on your head, Dan. <laughs> He'll just Excuse sit me, we're there. doing an interview. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for your time. I'm going to have yeah. a look round, yeah? And I'll make sure I put the website and all the details yeah. to people. Yeah. That, that's why we end up with hot potatoes. Someone the rest <laughs> Because if you're not paying him attention, he's just screaming. Is that what it is? So he's just said he's screaming for attention. <laughs> Let's go and see him. <laughs> which, which one is that that's screaming? This one? Oh, you have to have attention. Yeah, come on then. Come on. <laughs> Do any of them talk in here? You can see Charlotte says her name. Oh, wow. Charlotte's LS. Ella, you're going to say Ella for the camera. Yeah, that'll be the case. 
Oh, oh they're gorgeous. The loudest, and then that one, there's this is the one that was screaming just now when we were trying to interview. Did we ignore you? <laughs> oh, they're so gorgeous. Yes, I want one. Oh. I'll take them all, though. You won't, you won't want them one. No, not with the screaming, my God. It's not about the screaming. It's only because if that one, or that one gets excited, they bite. Oh, yeah. That's what if you, I don't know if I've showed you, but his finger from Candy. Because uh, you try getting a, getting him off someone. Yeah. And pretty much it was like, um, she didn't want to come off, so basically, Wow, I mean, it's such a broken. looking at their beaks as well, they could do some damage, couldn't they? Yeah, yeah she just said a name, didn't she? Hi. If you shout Ella, Ella, Ella. Ella, 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 Ella. Yeah. Ella, Ella, Ella. I've got to admit, that's the only thing that would put me off having one, is... Ella, Ella, Ella. Ella. I've seen um, a video of someone that raised them and the, the hand and their arm was just scarred. Is, is, this one wants attention, Daniel. That's why she keeps she's screaming. Oh, I think you've got that She's going to start biting. Bouncing. Oh, bouncing. Hopping up and down. Uh, Ella, Ella, Ella. Yeah, she plays like a chicken, doesn't she? Ella, Ella, Ella. Oh. So do you find then um, that a lot of people get these birds and then end up dumping them because of the work involved or...? We've only, I think we've only had one. Hello. One. Uh, Hello. One of them's Sorry. called Joy. Uh, I think it's Joy. Yeah, Joy. So basically, it's McCall. Um, Hello. The owners. Hello. Hello. It was here like five years ago, basically. Hello. Yeah. And yes. pretty much they brought her back Hello. like, like oh. a week ago or something. And now she's all like all bald on the front of her. And like a lot more bad. Oh, bless. Is there a lot of work involved in looking after him? Yeah. Yeah. A lot. And so, like, basically, if we're doing these... Pretty much, I won't go in a cage with these. Right. Because every when I went in with uh, Ella, I was trying to clean her out. I had to use the bucket and the dust brush to block them out of my way. Right. just running up to me. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I bet I they could like, do yeah, some damage. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you cute, eh? You are, you're a beauty. Them claws are not beautiful though, look at them. Uh, oh. Need trimming them ones. Right, are you talking about me? Eh? Eh? Is that what? Right, we're gonna have a look around the rest of the place. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Billy! Silly Billy. Oh Billy. Let's go outside. Come this way. Come on, boys. Oh, aren't they cute? There's more. Harley. Oh, look at these. Hello. Who's a pretty boy? Look, you've got six in here, seven. What have we got over here? Oh, look at these. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hello, cutie. Let's see if it can pick you up. There we go. That's better. Hello. Oh, let's check out Harley the McCall. Harley. Hello. Hello. Harley. Are you doing peekaboo? Harley. Hello. Oh, I could stay here all day. They're gorgeous. 
Here, boy, are you a bit shy? There's a pigeon. A pigeon. There you go, that's all the info you need there. You've got the email address, the address and the telephone number if you're interested in uh, fostering one of the gorgeous birds here. Right, oh, that's your mic. Right, that's the end of the Birdman Parrot Rescue and none of us wanted to leave, did we? No. And what was really sad was when we went through the door then, a load of the birds started screaming. Because I guess they, they like the attention, you know? Oh, it's really sad. And seeing the young lads working away there, it must take a lot of work to look after this place. So I just said to them then, me and the kids will come up one day, volunteer, help clean them out and stuff, you know? Because it must take a lot to look after yeah. them. But what a lovely place. So if you are thinking of adopting a bird, Go up there and speak to them. Um, it's going to take a lot of work to look after them. You'd really need to know what you're doing, wouldn't you? Um, but speak to the guys here, and if you are after a bird, they'll help you out, and you'll be able to adopt a bird from Birdman Parrot Rescue. Right, so we set off now from the Birdman Parrot Rescue and get ourselves back home. I did not want to leave though, did not want to leave at all. They're so gorgeous. I've always wanted a macaw, but I wouldn't get one unless I think I was retired at home because I wouldn't want them ever to be sat in a cage except at bedtime. But I do think as well with birds, they'd be flying around your house. I bet that they would damage your curtains. They'd sit on your curtain rails. Um, I follow a lady on Facebook and her parrot knocks everything off the table deliberately. He uses his beak and he pushes the hot coffees off the table and all sorts. Which way was it? Can you remember? And they would be, you know, pooping round your house as well, wouldn't they? So that's something to take into account that if you had a bird like that, you'd have to be fully dedicated to it and give it all your time. Right, so we've just been in to co-op, got some plastic cups and a bottle of pop, and Curly were just saying how the cups cost far more, over double, than what the bottle of pop cost. The cups were £2.20, the pop was 90p. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy, wasn't it? But you can take the cups home, rinse them out, and use them again next time you go out to the beach. I know people say they're disposable cups, but I don't throw them away after one use. Why would you need to? They wash fine, dry them, use them next time you go out. So we're just gonna go sit down here, have some biscuits and pop. And then we've got about a 40 minute walk home, is it? Yeah, probably about a 40 minute. <laughs> you all right there, Mildred? <laughs> Guys, have you seen this look? <laughs> Drama queen over here. Bless her. <laughs> right, we're just sitting down here. What's funny, Kay? Look at the size of the cup. That's cute. That's so cute. 20 centimetres to be exact. Kaylee's going to pour us some cherry age. All right, Dan? 20 centimetres to be exact. Okay. The size of that cup. So you've got Mark here, look. Me. Daniel and Kay. And look at this view in front of us. Isn't that a perfect place to put the bench? Look at that. You can see all the way up there, look, to North Pier. It's gorgeous. We're going to take a walk down there in a minute when we've had some uh, pop and some biscuits. Absolutely gorgeous day. Look at the ocean, guys. Irish sea there. The boys are off. They've, um, I saw Walk on the Wild Side had done a video. This bit over here, it's all fenced off. I think they must be doing structural work or something on it. You know, this walkway bit where we used to walk down. Yeah, so this bit here is fenced off, look. And that's because it's the Roman a property of the Roman Empire. Property of the Roman Empire. It's a Roman 
I want to go see the Colosseum. In Rome. You can actually go in it, but you can't film inside of it. How do you know that? I've, I've seen people go to Rome and go inside of it. So you can actually go inside of it. What, and there's a sign saying you can't film? Yeah, you can't film inside of it. <laughs> I've seen loads of people film inside it. Oh, have you? Well, have you actually seen a sign or have you just assumed? No, I've seen someone say online. Look at this breathtaking view. I'm gonna hop with that too. Look at how the sea changes colour. So here it's sort of like a darker brown colour, and then if you look further out, look, it goes sort of a dark blue. It's dirtier here. Yeah, and it could also be because it's deep. The sand will have a lot to do with it. Oh, yeah. The sand here will make it dirty. So Blue Waters Hotel is just over the road there, the, uh, the dark blue one. And we've just seen this. Parking tariff for Blackpool Blue Waters Hotel. 24 hours, 14.95. Guests, please pay for parking at reception for a discounted rate. So you can park there if you're not a guest, but it's 14.95 for 24 hours. I think that's really pricey. Surely there's got to be cheaper parking than that nearby. I'm kind of glad I don't drive. 14.95. Woo! Tiffany's hotel there. That's one that I've wanted to film as well. But you see, you've got to have permission from the hotel to go in and film it, unless you're staying as a guest. And even then, you probably do require permission to film. I do stay at some hotels, but the majority, I just go in and do a, a video tour. So I can physically show you what it looks like, and I can tell you the prices and special offers at the time and things like that but of course you could go and stay and it could be different if i stay over myself it's a bit different you can get a better feel of the place can't you it's so sad that nothing's been done with that yet parisine hotel it's been like that a long time one, two, three, four, five, six floors, including the uh, basement. Could be such a stunning hotel. I wonder why nobody's taken it on. And the one next door as well is boarded up. I want to go sit down there on them steps and watch the waves. There you go. Look at that. Another one. All boarded up. That one's got the uh, windows smashed. Oh, behave. You see that, look? Windows are smashed on that. Oh, we're back almost by Bowie's Lodge just over there and Sunny D's catering holiday apartments. Daishi's Blackpool Hotel. That was quite a big hotel. Let's go down and watch the waves, Kay. What do you reckon? Nothing better. What time is it, please? No idea. Look at this. Look at this for a view. Daniel, be careful, please. Hold on. Daniel, I said hold on, please. Oh, let's just stop here at this um, fence here. Look at that then. Look at this.
What a view. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Let's go down this way. Be careful, these uh, steps are quite small, aren't they? Mum. What? You know what that is long? Yeah. Um, I'm not thought that bench was long. Look at that bench. <laughs> Mark! That's got to be in the Guinness World Records for the largest bench ever. You're fitting like... I think there's bigger ones. I think there'll be bigger ones than the record. Maybe not. Let's have a look here. Are we allowed? Only to the chain. Ooh! You know if I became the owner of the Blackpool Tower? Yeah. I'd install a massive slide on <laughs> I like your idea. Don't touch that, please. It says do not go down the steps when the tide is in. But the tide's nowhere near You're the steps. Locked in. Excuse me. Ah. been a lovely day hope you enjoyed the video so far we're just approaching North Pier now I'm gonna check out a few more of the waves I think before we head off up the prom this is a fab area here look at this all this seating imagine this all packed out on, I say on a warm day it's a warm day now it's perfect the weather isn't it Nice and warm, but just a, a lovely little bit of cold breeze. North Pier in front of us, you can see the theatre at the end there. The sea's nice and calm today. I do like the sea whether it's calm or rough, but I do prefer the rough waves much more relaxing. Look at this slot. Lovely. Oh, it's just stunning. I love it that we get to see Blackpool rammed, but then we also get it like this, nice and quiet for us, you know? We get to enjoy it. I thought that was Stephen from work then on the steps. I thought, when did he get longer? I'm surprised the chains are across because uh, the sea's not rough, it's quite calm. Do they chain it off whenever the tide's in, do they? What a cracking view. Ah, look, the building, the, uh, that looks like the like structure, what structure, what they have for uh, Christmas by the sea. Do you remember where you stand inside and have your photos taken? Quite cute, that. Oh, it's a while though, since uh, Christmas by the sea, isn't it? Unless it's part of the illuminations, it could be that, couldn't it? Let's cross over. <laughs> oh. 
Oh yes, World Fireworks Championship, silly me, that starts on Saturday, Kay. Is it every Saturday for four or five weeks? No. Only three. Only three? There usually has been four or five, hasn't there? Wonder which countries it is this year to go with us. Right, lovelies, we're at the end of our video today and I'm going to pass you over to the Daniel Spaniel because he's decided he wants to do the outro. So over to you, little man. OK, so uh, make sure you Apple scribe and you, um, and you Apple like and we will see you all next time. Bye. Hamburger. Also Apple. Goodbye, lovelies. P.S. Fingers and chip. Wait, what? <laughs> fingers and chips. What are you trying to say? Fish fingers and chips. You are a character. You, I love you, Daniel. Good night. <laughs> fingers and chips.